This week we're doing the Mimer Susosi Berichve Paroi de Misichor Rayosi, which is the second one with the same Divra Moscow. And uh, it starts on Yud Aleph Amid Dalid. So Susi Berichve Paroi de Misichor Rayosi. So again, as a horse in the chariots of Paroi, uh, did I compare you, my beloved? So Pirish Rayosi. What is it? Out there right away says, what is the meaning of Rayasi? So the translation could also be Parnasasi. Um, Rayasi generally means my beloved. Rayasi could also mean from the term Raya, from the term of a shepherd, which means somebody who sustains. In other words, Parnasasi, my sustainer. And as it says in the rabbi, the Chacham say that the Jewish people, they sustain their father in heaven. So we have to understand how is this, what does it mean that they sustain? Also, from the stand, why this level of sustaining Rayasi compared specifically to the horses in the chariot of Parai. So he begins with saying that the, the idea here is that it says in the Pasik that he is like a chasam that goes out from his chuppah. So he says, um, this is from Tilim, he says, so what is Vahu? That he is like a chasam. He says, this goes on the sun, which it says before, La Shemesh, Samuel Behem. So the sun is what is referring to. So that is the chasam. So what does the sun refer to? So this is a hint. This is an idea of Torah Shabiksav, the written Torah. Why? Because the written Torah is called the sun, and Torah Shabbat is called the moon. Just like this moon receives its light from the sun, so too, in other words, through that it, it shines its light. So too, the Torah Shabbat Shabbat receives the oral Torah receives from the written Torah. And it's like we find the Gemara that we say, Minolam. how do we know this thing? So what do we answer? Because it says in the Pasuk, it says it in the Torah. Or from where do we know? Minani Mili. Where is this from? What's the source? In other words, everything in Torah Shabbat its source, where is its light from? Torah Shabbat the written Torah. But we know that Torah Shabbat the written Torah is the general rule, the principles. And Torah Shabbat the oral law, is the details. And we say, "Ein bechlal el You don't have in the in the in the in the principle. It's only as it is in the in the in the in the details. In other words, that also in Torah, in the written Torah, there's 613 mitzvahs uh, in general, and all their details are explained in Torah Shabbat But it's all one level, one thing. So now to understand, what does it mean that he's like a chassan that's going out from his chuppah? So the Altarebbe now begins with the explanation of the Pasuk. It says, Kiyomarti Olam Chesed Yibana. And as the Taich is, that I said, who is saying this? Davra Melech is saying this until him. That Kiyomarti Olam Chesed Yibana. That the, that the, 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 the world is created with, the, the, the kindness created the world. The world's created with kindness. But in, 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 in Chesidus here, well, there's everlasting kindness in the world. But the Maisa in, in, in Chesidus, the Taich is Olam Chesed Yibana, that the world um, is it has to be made through Chesed that is Yibana, right? That has to be built. So Chesed is Yibana for the Olam. So let's re look at he says, he says it here. That he said the meaning is that Chesed has to be built, that the Chesed is built, and that how and how? That it has to be created and built. And the word here, Yibana, so the word general Bana is to build, yibana with the yud, means happening constantly, which that is what we say. Um, and it says, hamachadish betuve, the one who renews with his good, and every day the creations, are, the, the actions of creation, and tuve, his good, and the this creation of kindness is from where? The supernal kindness, because he is ever, he wants kindness, he is the perfect kindness, and he wants to do good. So where is this desire of kindness? He says, so in Aaron Saf, Baruch Hu, you can't have the level of chesed at all. Because we say in the Kunei Zayar that Lav de Islach Tzedek Yedir, there's no known righteousness within you, and you are not of the Midas whatsoever. Only that comes through many contractions and the evolvement from one level of the emanator to the emanation. So we have, it could be drawn down, the light of the Aaron Saf, and it could come down and enclose itself within the attribute of kindness. But in order for this light to come down, to be drawn down into chesed. So in the beginning of the creation, we know it's because kichafitz chesed, that God desires kindness. And therefore it happens on its own, automatically. But now the arousal from above is, 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 uh, is dependent on the arousal from below. In other words, 
that there should be able to be drawn in light of her and stuff, that it should be a level of that he desires kindness and that he and that he and he uh, and that he uh, uh, Builds the kindness in order for the world to be created. That happens through a nisarusa de la It happens through the avoda, through the work of those who are below. And so he said, "This the arousal from below. That is what it says." David Amalech is saying, "Ki amarti that David Amalech is saying that I say, which David Amalech is saying this on behalf of all the Jewish people. That ki amarti, meaning that when I say chesed yibana, or when better said, when I say, as we'll see later, this idea of amar." Which is the uh, the certain avoda, then chesed gets built. In other words, through my avoda, chesed is is built for the world. And this level of amira, where does he say it is? He said this is in the heart, which is the the level of thought and the uh, the arousal of the heart through contemplation and Hashem being one from the very depths of one's being and his depth of his heart. And then chesed gets built. And with this isarusa de la with this arousal from below, it uh, a, a spirit arouses another spirit and draws down a spirit, as it says, as Hashem Hamarta, that we, when we say um, uh, uh, something below, we accomplish that Hashem says it above, and as it says about this pasuk, that you made me into one loved thing, you made me into a singular thing in this world, which is the idea of Hashem Echad. So when we think in Hashem Echad, and Hashem is one, we're able to arouse that Hashem says, the Amira, he builds chesed. And that's what it says in the Pasuk. He says, Ki ba of aretz, that all is in heaven and earth. So Shemayim goes on Shemayim, which there is water, which goes on the level of kindness, which is water, which spreads and it comes and encloses itself down here on earth. So, and then what is Ki Koil? Then it was that, that, that draws the chesed from the Shemayim into aretz. What's the Ki Koil? So he says, Koil is 50, which 50 are the 50 gates of Bina. Which that is the 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 gemat the, the, the numerical value of koil, which that is this uh, uh, contemplation, which draws down that there should be the level of ashamayim, the level the level of heaven, level of chesed. It says, look in the in the in the meaning of the zayar chelak aleph and the zayar pashvigash on the pasuk of that he establishes his the heavens with knowledge, or with understanding, and he says every day etc. And this is the word yubana. In other words, which Yibana comes from the word and love, 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 the letters of Bina. So basically, Bina, which is the Nun Shari Bina, that helps, that makes the building that God has drawn down into the days, which one of them, the first one, and the one that goes with all of them, and the, and the, and the essence of all of them, the level of Chesed. And this happens through this is Bainanus in Kol. And from there, it comes out into earth. And then at that point, as we learned before, Knesset Yisrael, the Jewish people, are called the Kala because they receive from this level of Kol. And what is the level of the bride, Kala? That's from the term of that my, my soul goes out, that through this desire of the heart, and we arouse a spirit above, that we go out through our thirst for Hashem, so that they're expiring for Hashem. Hashem now brings down a building of chesed and the chesed that comes down to earth. And that's where it says that, Hashem, that forever Hashem, your words are standing in the heaven. That in other words, these words, what is the words? The words is Malchus, which is the source of the Jewish soul. And so, um, they are the ones, in other words, the, these words of the Jewish people, they're the ones who draw down the level of Shamayim of heaven, and therefore the word, so to speak, that is happening because of the Jewish people, has to be Bashamayim. That's what makes the Shamayim. So now, in Ois Beis, he says in the second thing, so you can understand, how is there any type of relationship between the Creator and the creation that you're able to cause, that you draw down the orange soft, that it should come down into the level of chesed. So we say, this is because, as it says, that on every glory there is a chuppah. What's the level of glory, kaved? So he says, that's what it says, for my glory I created, I formed, and I also made, which this is, which that means a whole level of glory, of kaved. Refers to the enclosement of the light of the Ain Saf within the world that are Briatzer and Asiya, which is the whole world, the whole order of the evolved world. And as it says, now on all the covered, that means on, on top of this everything that is the covered, the glory of Hashem, that which is above them and higher than them, is the level of Chupa, the Chupa, the 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 canopy that's above, which is the level of Makif, that which is surrounds and beyond them, which cannot become revealed and enclosed within the world in a revealed way. Rather, it's in all-encompassing beyond them. 
And that's what gives the, this level of chuppah, that is what gives the power and the strength to have this arousal from above, that it has, that within it should be dependent the arousal of above. Because, in other words, because this is such a high level, this level of the chuppah, much higher even than the level of the light that surrounds the world, therefore it's able to surround and, 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 and encompass even what's the lowest of the low, as it says that, uh, that mitachas, that under the arms of the, of the world, but this word meaning that it encompasses even below the world, because according to this level, the above and below are all equal, and this is really the level of the supernal pleasure, which is the level of the light of the Ein Saf, which is the source of all pleasures and the source of life, as it says that with you is the source of life, which that is the level that get, comes down and gets enclosed within Torah mitzvahs, even as they are enclosed in physical things. And this is what he says, Asher Kedishanu, that you holied us. In other words, that this said it should be a uh, uh, dependent on the arousal below, the arousal of above, which is higher even than the level of Olam Haba of the world to come. And it explains why. Why is this even greater? Because he says the world to come was only created with the letter Yud. And even though it's the pleasure of the Nishamis, and it's an unbelievable pleasure, which is unlimited, until we say Nigamar on Elisha, who's also called Acher, that better he could be judged and get to the world to come, meaning all the, all the punishment and all the suffering of the world is worth it, just for the pleasure of the world to come. In other words, all the pleasures of Gehenim are worth it. Just for this pleasure, even for the lower level of Gan Eden, for sure, for the higher level of the Garden of Eden. Yet, all this is only a Yud. That this is one little ray of light, a small ray that has come that makes all this pleasure all the heavenly worlds. But the Torah and the mitzvahs, they come from the pleasure, the supernal pleasure, the supernal ple- pleasure that is beyond and above of this. In other words, from the light of the Aaron Saf itself, Baruch Humamish, in its essence and in its glory. And that's why it says, better one hour in this world of truth and good deeds than the whole world to come. And that's explained in other places. And from here, there comes the strength and this power to the soul, to the, to the within the person who is within the order of the evolved worlds of Biyah, in the level of Kaveh, in, le- in this glory, that it should be dependent on his arousal of b- below, the entire arousal of below, of, above, that's higher than the entire evolved worlds. And through that, we draw down the light of the iron stuff that there should become the chesed yibana that chesed gets built. Okay, so he's not going to give an example for this, but basically we have three levels here. We have a level of beyond the worlds that has to be drawn down into the level of chesed and to build chesed in order that that chesed comes down into this world, which is called the arousal of above. Then we have the arousal of below, which is our amira, what we say, or as he said before, that which is in our heart, the, the, the strengthening of Hashem Echad and the total thirst for Hashem Himself. When we have that thirst for Hashem Himself, we arouse a place that is of pleasure that's beyond even the light that precedes and is above the world. The pleasure of the very essence of the Orin Saf. And that pleasure, that is what is dictated in the beginning. That the chesed of the world, the building of the chesed should be dependent on our and, and And this, because it is so great, it has the ability to be dependent and to make itself connected with our avoida. But what does our avoida do? Our avoida now in Amira will be able to draw down the building of chesed. Why? Because the supernal pleasure wants it that way. So he now explains this in more detail. So, for example, we see in the physical world in the pleasures of man that pleasure makes the flesh uh, uh, um, um, fatty, and the uh, and the limbs become thicker, and they and they grow. Right. And this is what we know the Gemara uh, that says that when uh, um, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai went out to Vespasian, um, he once she was on, once she was off, because he told him that he had become a king, and he told him. That uh, um, a good uh, uh, a good uh, statement makes the the, the 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 bone grow thicker, bigger. So pleasure will make the the, the person and the skin. We know also that the many of the that all the Rabbi Rabbi brings down the Kutasichas, right? That the that just he became fat from the pleasure of saying Okay, so the same way the supernal tainu 
that's the t- supernal pleasure that's enclosed within Torah mitzvahs, that is the what has this ability that it grows and it makes thick the power of the soul to, 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 to elevate it and to connect it to the highest of levels that we should have which means that the woman, the Jewish Jew, the Jew, the wife of Hashem down here in this world becomes the crown of her husband that she should be able to draw down the light of the earth itself that it should be able to come down into this level of creating and making chesed of building chesed and this is what we said before that your word is standing in the heaven. But Nitzav, he says, is also from the term of a ruler. As we sign, it says Nitzav Melech, which there means that the viceroy, that there's no Melech amongst the Jewish people. So Nitzav, a viceroy, was the king. Which this means as follows, that the word of Hashem, which is the halacha, which you're learning, now it's, even though it's down here, it's in physical things, it's only a level of Nitzav. It's the viceroy, yet it makes fruit above that it should be the crown, the, 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 in other words, the Eishah Schayel should be the crown of her husband, and that means that she, it makes the, 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 the kingship as it is over the level of Shemayim and Chesed, in other words, that it draws down the light of the Ein Saf, that there should be able to be the level of Shemaim, which we said before, which is the building of Chesed, to be able to be drawn down into the earth. And that is why, because Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvahs, the Ebesher Holodot, with his mitzvahs, his own mitzvahs, he himself, as the Chacham say, that the Ebesher himself puts on film. the Ebesher sits and learns across from the one who is learning, which this is the idea that, what does it mean Hashem is putting on film? That means you're drawing down godliness through tefillin in tefillin. Which this is the level the, in Tefillin. And the same thing in Torah, which is the drawing down of Hashem in the level of Chachma. As we know, the Torah comes from the level of Chachma. And what does it mean, Kenegdoi, opposite of him? Meaning that Kenegdoi means a little bit apart. Because when it comes to Torah, this, this drawing down cannot be within the world. Only rather it stays a little bit uh, uh, um, 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 above. In a, in a way that it is, uh, we, we said before, Seviv and it surrounds. Above, it doesn't permeate fully. As we say, as it says in the Pasuk, Hashem Tzilcha, that God is your, your, Hashem is your shadow. Which, a shadow is not a revealed light. And the idea of a shadow is like a shadow of a man, for example, that the whole form of man is within the shadow. But the actual scene that we see the shadow is dark. The same way Hashem being your shadow is that it's your shadow. In other words, it comes from your arousal from below, you arouse above. But the arousal that's from above, in other words, that which you're revealing above, is dark and is a shadow. As we said, the place of Hashem, He dwells within the darkness. In other words, it's something that is so beyond that we cannot grasp it and see it with our own eyes of the creation. It's only like a, the, the pleasure of the king within himself. That means that the who is enjoying when you do a mitzvah down here, and you're doing it for the reason, as we said, Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvah that you're doing it because Hashem's mitzvah. You're, uh, you're, you're touching Hashem himself. It's his own pleasure, the pleasure of Hashem that you cannot appreciate fully. And that's where it says, Ayad Yiminecha. It says, Hashem Tzilcha, God is your, uh, your, your shadow on your right hand. In other words, through the level of Yimincha, which is a level of love, which is a, uh, a arousal from above that you want to, uh, through love, you want to cleave to Hashem. Through that, you arouse the spirit above that the Abishar should put on tefillin and he should sit and he should learn Torah and all the other 248 mitzvahs, which are limbs. And in other words, drawing downs of the light of God in the level of chesed. Okay, and so this is what the whole idea of an aver, a limb is, that you draw down life to the different body parts. How do you do it? So we're saying is when a Jew uses, when a Yid does his Torah mitzvah with a love, he's drawing down through each of the limbs, tefillin and mezuzah, and, and, and here he says Torah and tefillin, you draw down godliness to each of the limbs, which is ultimately the level of chesed. So he says, in general, the, th- the 248 mitzvahs, they get divided into three levels, which is Torah, Avodim, Mils, Chesedim. On this it says, day to day, Yabia Oimer. He makes himself known. Or his, and, but the word here, Oimer, in other words, his words get revealed. What does it mean, Oimer? He says, Oimer is, a, is the, is the Rashi Tevis of Eish Maim Ruach, fire, water, and, spirit, and, and air. Which is Eish, fire is the level of the void that comes, just like a fire is trying to go, like a, a flame that's always uh, um, 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 licking and going up, dancing above. So same way, it's avoid it from below to cleave to Hashem. That means you want to go out of your garments of noiga, of, of, of klipa, and, and the pleasures of man, to have pleasure only on Hashem. And that's what all the kabbonists were, which they were. A special smell and sacrifice, what they would bring the 
the the the the fats and the blood onto the mizbeach, because the fats is the level of the pleasures, and the pleasures is what makes the flesh thick and 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 oily, and it becomes very fatty and full of fat is fattiness, and this pleasure of the animal, this animal pleasure gets brought to Hashem through that which he gets burnt up in the fires from above, that he should become, he should go back to the source of all pleasures. And now today we have the davening in the place of the sacrifices, which is, which is through this flame of fire, of love, that we arouse in davening with a supernal love. And we say, like we say, Avas that an everlasting love you loved us, or we say, Yisrobiyava, that you chose the, your nation, the Jewish people, with love. Through that, we separate them. We try to we go we go beyond our soul from the we, our soul separates and goes beyond its pleasures of the animalistic animalistic pleasure pleasures to have pleasure for us in Hashem itself, and then to cleave with a complete a cleaving and, and and desire to Hashem, and that's the level of Aish, which is a level of tefillah. Then we have a level of water, which is level gemil sasadim. And staka, which is like water, and that's what it says in the in, in the in the pasuk. Lucky are those who plant over all the waters. But it says in the Gemara that this pasuk zayde refers to staka, so we see that staka has to do with water. Now the word, just like water, descends from a high place to a low place. Same way, the level of staka and kindness, which is to give life to those who are lowly, to, to give and to lift up their spirit to the one who has none of his own, which is idea of staka. Then we have the level of ruach, which is air, which is the level of speech. Which speech comes from the air, which that is to being involved in the learning of Torah, which is mainly through speech, as it says, Vidibartabam. You should speak in the words of Torah, as it says in Zoyar, in the spirit, in the air, de lo'an that is it, it, that is working and toiling in Torah, that is learning in Torah. And these three levels, which they are Omar, right? Omar, Eshmaim Ruach, but Omar means word, is what it says that I said. Amarti, I said the word Amar through that, that the chesed of the world gets built. In other words, that ki Amarti, that through the level of my Amira, my word, through that I get that Hashem should say that he draws from there the level of Havaya, which is Havaya Emircha, which is the level of Amar, which has the idea of the Abishter of Hashem himself putting on tefillin, which is a drawing down of the earth and stuff from above, higher than Ishtar Shulis down here into this world. And that's what it says, that he is like a chassan who comes out of his chuppah. That chassan always means nechoiz darga, to go down a level, which a taita gets drawn down and descends from its high and glorious place, which is one, and enclosed and, 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 and infused within the light of the Ein Tzav Baruch Hu Mamish, the source of all pleasure, and it comes down and descends in the physical things. In a, to, to, as it says, lower nechoiz darga, coming down a level, which is coming from where? It's going to say it comes out mechu pasay from the level of chupa, the level of soyev kolam. And that's where it says that he, yos is ki gibar, that he should be, that he should be happy like a strong soul, a strong warrior. Larutz to, to, uh, to, uh, to, to run his path. In other words, like a, 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 a warrior, larutz oirach, to go in his, in his ways, but so he's going to explain now the idea of Oirach. So he says, the idea of Oirach, it also says Oirach Kenashim, the ways of women, which is the list, the level of Kala, which is the level of the, 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 the Malchus, Knesset Yisrael, which is the source of the Jewish people, that it gives them the power and the strength that it should be dependent, that all the arousals of below, dependent on the arousals of below. And that's what's called Oirach Kanashim, the ways of women. As we see by Rachel, that she said to Lavan, Kiderach Nashim Li, it's the way of women for me. Now, that's why she couldn't get off the camel. In other words, but now we're going to touch it here. What does it mean, Kiderach Nashim Li? It's a way of women for me, that the way of women, the level of Malchus, what is its way different than all the other spheres of below, of above, that are in Atzillus. Since they're in Atzillus, the level of Malchus descends into the world of Bri, Yitzir, and Asiyah, and it gives life even to all things, even things that are not Kedusha. In other words, that it gives life from the leftover um, sustenance. And also, and what happens is that the dirt of it gets pushed out to give life even to those who serve idols, which they get their nourishment and they, where they get their, their, their handle in, to live and exist is from the leftover sustenance and from this soilus, this dirt, which is the derech nashim, the way of the women. 
which that refers to when the Shechina enclosed itself into the lower worlds of Bri Yitzir and Asiya, like Rachel, before it says Rachel gets lost within the shearings, which in other words, it goes down into the level of hairs, etc., that it goes down into the lower worlds, and there it gets concealed, in other words, it goes into the worlds of Bri Yitzir and Asiya. On the other hand, the level of Sarah. By her, it says that Avram and Sarah were old, come in their days. And Sarah Chadal, it, no, they, it stopped for her to have a way of women. In other words, from the level of Skane and from the older ones, and the supernal days, which are the ones in Atzillus, there's no nourishment, and the Klippas don't get anything from it. And therefore, Sarah had no way of the women. On the other hand, Rachel, who goes down into the lower worlds, there is. And so this is what he says. This is going back in a moment to the level of Oirach. She said another explanation according to what says in Zerva Yaakov. What it says, Oirach Tzadikim. What's the difference between Oirach Lederach? That the different types of ways. So he says, Derech, a way. In other words, he says, what's the difference between Oirach and a Derech? Which are two words for ways. So he says, the word Derech, a path, that is a pathway for all. Um... But as explained there, in, 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 in clearly that Oirach refers to tzaddikim, that it's a way only for the righteous, which they are totally, uh, um, uh, they have power over their, their, their places, and there's no nourishment for any type of evil. And, and he says the only one that's different than this is Oirach Kenashim. When it says Oirach Kenashim, then it refers to that it does get uh, a nourishment, which is the way of the women, which is a leftover shefa, and the, the, the dirt that gets pushed to the outside. And according to this, uh, in the Pasuk, Larutz um, Oirach, where it says just the word Oirach here in our Pasuk, so we'd say that this refers to the Oirach Tzadikim, which is in the Zohar. That means that it shouldn't be with any type of nourishment for the external ones, for Klippa, and the, you look in these other places, in the meaning of Larutz Oirach, and that is similar to the idea of a closed well, which means there's no sat, there's no uh, uh, there's no yunika for things that are uh, external, and the explanation of this is that the level of chasam, which goes on the written Torah, it is like a strong warrior that is going out in its way. That means going to Torah Shabbat Peh, which is the level of kala. And there, there would be no being said the word oirach. There's no sustenance from this for anything that's evil. And explained in Parshas Breishis. The idea that if you have the schus, then Torah becomes for you a thing of life, a potion of life. On another hand, if you're not married, meritorious, as it's chas v'shalom, as it says by doeg and achi teufel, then it becomes uh, something different. And that is that it goes after, in other words, it becomes like Eirech Kanashim, where it's able to go a path that goes like the women. Um, what's the idea of women? I'm just going to say it quickly. The idea of women is that there's a time where she's meyuchad, to her to one with her husband when she's up in Atzillus, then there's a time where there's she is separate and she has to go down into the world at the time of Nida, etc. And so this idea is this going down into Biya. So you have to be so, so you have to be chasum. So the, the idea here is you have to be sealed with Torah in your in your learning that all your benayach l'mudi Hashem that your whole uh, should be for the learning of Hashem only, and that is that you begin the bracha with with Baruch. And this idea of that you were Oirach, um, which is the, the 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 pathways of tzaddikim, which all the Jewish people are tzaddikim, and what's the idea of Yosis? Yosis, he says, is the gematria of two, of six hundred and twenty, which is the six hundred and twenty pathways of light or pillars of light, which we're, they're the source of all the six hundred and thirty mitzvahs with the seven mitzvahs that are banan, which which connected to this, you have also the six hundred and twenty letters that are in the Ten Commandments and the Sarah Sadibris, and this all gets drawn down. Lorotz Eirach, that they get revealed in the Torah Shabbat as it says in Igeres HaKadosh, Eshes Chayot Teres Okay, so, but back to this, as he said before, it, as we were saying in, in, in the Mimer, before the Haggah, that we learned, that when the Shechina comes down into Biyah, that's Lorotz Eirach, that you go brown into the pathways, that it brings down even into the world of Biyah, that the Chasan comes out all the way, Lo Eirach, right? Where is this coming from? From Yaitzim Mechupasai, when he comes out of his Chobah. He says, now in Oiz Dalet, and because the whole order and the involvement of the world is coming through the Jewish people, because they're the ones who draw down the life and the light for, and the light and the life of Aaron Sav Baruch Hu, and all the worlds from the beginning until the end, through the Torah mitzvahs, so that they that it could be enclosed, the light of the Aaron Sav, in a way that God desires kindness and creates the kindness of the world, that this is all in the power which is given to the Jewish people, his, 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 his 
beloved nation. On the other hand, Goyim, they don't have the ability to draw down anything into this world. And therefore, the Jewish people are called Rayasi Parnasasi. That's why Kansi Saul is called my sustainer, my shepherd. Now, we're just like food that it sustains the person, that it's what draws down the life force from his brain into all of the limbs of his body, because the life of a man is dependent on the life that comes from his brain, which that is what draws down life force into, the, into all the different limbs. But if you don't eat for a while, what happens? Your, mind, your brain becomes weak, and then the soul and the, and the life of the person that's in his brain um, doesn't have the power that it could be connected with every part of the, with the body to give all the um, limbs a life. And through that, you don't see as well, you don't hear as well, etc. And so therefore, the food is that which strengthens the power of the soul and it connects it with the body to bring from there life. The same with the Jewish people, they're the ones that they draw down the life and the light of the Ur and Saf from the level of Saiviv, that it could be filling the world, that it should be the world be built with, that the Chesed is built for the world through Torah and Mitzvahs in this level of Dvar Chanitza Bashamayim, that your word is standing within the heaven, which that is the level of the arousal of, above, which is higher than each Tashul, that it gets drawn down, of the evolved world, that it gets drawn down into this world. And this happens through the Jewish people. Therefore, they're called the sustainer. They're sustaining the world with godliness. They're sustaining the life of the world, etc., which really all comes from godliness. And with this, we understand what it says in the Pasik that to the, 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 like the horses in the chariots of Pare, I compared you, uh, my beloved. And here it says, my beloved, meaning Rayasi from the term of my sustainer. In other words, the level of sustainer is similar to the horse that's specifically within the chariot of Pare. The idea here is, just for the example of the, of the, of the horse that's in the um, chariots of Pare, in the physical chariot, because he's of the king, so for sure he's, 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 they, 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 uh, they dress him and they, they beautify him with all types of uh, jewelry and stuff like they do for all the horses of ministers and kings when they ride upon them or when they're attached to the, to the chariot of the king. And we know that the, that the horse himself, he doesn't understand any of these jewelry or stuff that's put upon him and not of the chariot itself and not of the one who's riding him. Only this, the, the, all these beautifying elements of uh, the, these jewelry and stuff and the, and the, and the chariot is for the, one who's, for, the, for the rider. And when he has to when he has to ride, then they put up the, they make they make the horse all beautiful, and they put him into this chariot because that's what's beautiful for him, and that is the pleasure that the that the rider has pleasure through the horse. The same way it says by the Abish there that he, when you ride on your horses, that we that, that, that they're different that in the chariot of the Abish is the level of horses that we find in the Nevoah of Zechariah. That there's black horses and there's white horses, and on the other hand, the the the, the Nevoah of Yeshai and Yecheskel. they saw the face of the lion, the face of the ox. Which that is the face of the lion, the face of the ox. That is that, but which through that there was these are elevated levels that they have a certain level of understanding in the and, and grasping of the light that's being drawn upon them, and therefore they're like the angels, which are called Srafim, that they are like flames of fire of love and fear to Hashem, to that which they appreciate. But when regard to the level of horses, these re- refer to letters, which letters of in themselves have no intellect and understanding whatsoever, whatsoever. Rather, the intellect just rides them. And and, 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 and and leads them to, uh, and they're like a chariot, and they're totally nullified to the one who's riding them, that he, the one who's riding them, has a pleasure and a, and a, and a, and a benefit. And this is the pleasure of the pleasure of the king himself, which is not seen or grasped in his chariot whatsoever. And that's what it says, to this is what I compare you, my, um, my beloved, meaning my shepherd, my, um, my sustainer. Because, in other words, you have the level of ki amarti, that I said, that when we say, when the Jewish people say, chesed yibana, that the world gets built through kindness, in other words, that they were, through that, that there should be that our saying, cause that Hashem says, is also the level of a horse, that the person, the, the, the soul of the man down here does not grasp at all in the light of the Ein of Baruch Hu itself, and its honor and glory, that it should be able to have pleasure from this Ur and Saf, in its essence and its glory, because it itself is the source of all life and the source of all pleasure and the and and the world to come, which is the source of all the 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 pleasures of the souls. That we said it all comes only from a yud. Rather, this arousal from below, below above is because the mitzvahs are the beautifying things. They are they are the um, they are the kshutim. Uh, what he says here, they are the the, the jewelry of the supernal pleasure. And therefore, through the nullification of the soul from this pleasure, 
it's able to draw down such great things. Because why? It's God's pleasure. He's the writer. And, but this pleasure is higher than anything of the evolved world, and it cannot be grasped and understood in any understanding or understand any type of intellect, and no thought could grasp it whatsoever. And this nullification of the soul to this great pleasure is like the example of a horse within the chariot of Padre, which is totally nullified within the chariot, and to this pleasure, and to the pleasure of the rider himself. And even though that the chariot itself doesn't understand anything, and it doesn't feel any type of pleasure and any type of excitement. Yet, that's what happens. The same way, and this is what the Alta Rebbe is saying. How do we draw down that the very essence of the godly pleasure should come down into this world? Is because we recognize that what we're doing down here is not for any other reason other than for the Abishur himself. And I won't grasp it. I won't understand it. I'm not going to have any pleasure from it. I'm not going to have any reward for it. I'm not going to have anything for it. I, I, I don't only, I don't, Kabbalah so. And greater than Kabbalah, so it's a joy in the king, knowing that the king is happy. But I don't understand why. I don't understand what. I don't understand where. When you serve the Abishter himself in your Torah mitzvahs, then you're able, then you draw down that your word causes the Abishter's tainog to cause that the chesed is yibana and gets built and gets drawn down into this world to give life and sustain the whole world. And sustain the whole world in what way? In a way that it comes from a place of kedusha and holiness and permeated with godliness, meaning that we better each other, we better the world, and we bring Mashiach. And he says, this is close to what it says in Mavi Sha'arim, and that's where he says that these are the 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 the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the the jewelry. That, that, uh, and before him, they're totally hidden from the one, and that's the same idea here. And I, I don't, I didn't see this, so I'm just reading it as it is. And look in Patrick Fadden, Barabbas, Pashat Zvarim, on what it says, Elad Zvarim. And he says there in the name of Yehudah of Simon, in the name of Rablevi, that just like this bee, everything that it gathers, everything that it, that it, that it makes, all the, the, the sweetness that it brings together, it's only bringing it for its bailim, for its owners, meaning the, the, uh, the queen and the, rat, the, the owner or the owner of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the beehive. The same way everything that the Jewish people bring, and they mesagel, they bring about, and they do mitzvahs and good deeds, they bring it for their Father in Heaven, and that's what it's for. And from this one, understand this as well, when we do it specifically for our Father in Heaven, and not for ourselves, but we don't understand, but like the horse in the chariot of Padre, who is totally beautified and has the unbelievable ability to take the king to the greatest of places and have the greatest of pleasure, and is beautified with the greatest of things, but has no understanding of what it means and why he does it and what he's doing. He's doing it only for the rider himself, then he draws about the greatest pleasure from the Abishtah himself, and that brings about a pleasure in this world, in all areas. And may we see the pleasure with the coming of Mashiach. Amen.